And we are back with Senator Lindsey Graham. And Senator, you made a comment last week saying, with all of this misconduct on the left, if I become chairman of this committee, I will remember. Is that in the plans? Yeah, I'm going to try to deter this for the, for the future. It's a noble cause on the left to destroy Kavanaugh and stop Trump from having a Supreme Court pick when it comes to replacing Kennedy. Most liberal media outlets believe it's a noble cause. They're not going to give much scrutiny to people who uh, try to take Kavanaugh down, the tactics they use. But this can be played out over time and destroy the ability to get good people to come forward. I am going to find out uh, what staffer recommended Katz to be Ford's lawyer why that staffer didn't tell the committee about the allegation if you believe she actually needed a lawyer. Ms. Ramirez said one of the main reasons she came forward, she was urged by Democratic senators to talk, uh, to give an interview. Well, if a Democratic senator believed she had something serious to say, they should report it to the committee so we could investigate it, not to the media, so it would be allegation number two. Yeah. I'm going to find out who leaked the anonymous letter provided by Cory Gardner, if I can, and punish them. Uh, we can't let those people who betrayed Dr. Ford's trust get away with but it. Should we that trust, will the but should we be trusting the FBI here after all that we have discussed in terms of the yes. small cabal yes. of people at the top yes. of the FBI yes. uh, in trying to put yes. their finger on the scale at, in the 2016 election? What's your trustworthiness of the FBI's investigation of Kavanaugh in the next week? And will it really just take a week? It should take just a couple of days. The trust, the trust level's high. My beef has never been with the FBI. It's been with McCabe uh, and a few bad apples. I love the FBI. Professional agents who do background checks will talk to the people Dr. Ford named, like the committee did. They will talk to Ms. Ramirez, who refuses to talk to the committee. Uh, and uh, that will be it. It will be done in a few days. I trust the FBI to do a fair supplemental background check. And I promise everybody who's listening, we're not going to let them get away with this. If this is the new normal, nobody will come forward. I want to know the Democratic senators who encourage Ramirez to go to the press, but didn't tell the committee. It's obvious what they're trying to do. They say it themselves. Yeah. We're trying to delay Kavanaugh so we can replace him in 2020. Real quick before you go, Senator, what should we expect next week from this meeting with Rod Rosenstein and the president? Uh, a conversation about whether or not Rosenstein was part of a bureaucratic coup to take him down. I don't believe Rosenstein was, and that's a conversation they need to have. And I want to thank President Trump for nominating Kavanaugh. He was such an outstanding choice. But I wouldn't fire Rosenstein unless there's some real credible evidence other than McCabe that he did something improper. Because we know if the House flips, we're not going to hear about that story any longer. We're going to talk about that right now, and it is good to see you this morning, Senator. Thanks very much can for joining us. Can I us. just add one thing? Yes, please. If I had done what Democrats had done, if I had recommended a conservative activist lawyer against a Democratic male nominee, an accuser came forward in South Carolina and I hit it, and I didn't tell the committee about it, I would be destroyed. The double standard here is unacceptable, and we're finally going to do something about it. Senator, thank you. We'll be watching. We appreciate your time this morning.